I was trying to find a way to add more notation and tablature to my videos. I want to, you know, improve a bit my quality, the quality of my videos. And uh, I wanted to try and do it as quickly as possible because you know how tedious it is to input uh, notes by hand in a program like MuseScore or Sibelius. So I've used three programs today, and this is just a, a still work in progress. So if you have any suggestions, if you find different ways, please leave a comment, let me know, because obviously I'm always trying to improve things. So the three programs we're going to use are uh, Reaper, but you can use any DAW, any digital workstation, because as long as you can import VSTs, um, that's fine. Then I'm going to use a VST called Neural Note. I'm going to leave all the links in a pin comment in the description, as always. And then I'm going to use MuseScore, which again is open source, and you can use for free with some limitations, but you can use all these programs for free. So um, as you can see here, I've recorded a simple line, and it's just a, a 251. Up for now, I'm just going to do simple things. So it's 251 recorded with my guitar. And what I'm going to do, obviously, this neural node of VST is now loaded on one of the um, instances of this track. And um, uh, basically, what I'm going to do is to load that, that file into the VST. There are many ways of doing them. I could play it and record it. I found that probably the quickest way, the most accurate one, is to go into Item Properties and down here find where that WAV file is, which is this. So I can copy that, that location, go into here, search that location in my Explorer, and you can see that's basically the location of that file. All I do now, I drag it into that look in that area there, and I go back into a close of this, and I go back into my Reaper. Now that file is loaded, and you can see that he has, this uh, VST has already um, basically turned that file into a MIDI file. I can now here uh, sort out a few things, and here when I when I tweak things, you can see that it's slightly changed. And I want to try to get to a point where I don't see any more ghost notes here. You can see it, and uh, and like tweak a little bit until until I find the right the right length. So as I said, this is all work in progress. I'm learning how to use these things. So now what I do is drag the MIDI file from here onto a track. And there you go, that's the MIDI file. Now what I want to do as a any MIDI file, I try to quantize it. So I'm gonna select everything, quantize, make sure that I'm 100% here, manual, selected notes, in position, and I go, okay. Um, there might still be a little bit, bit of room there for improvements. I can tweak things a little bit, and there you go. You see that it has created that that file, so to speak, that MIDI, MIDI file. I don't have any more ghost notes. Everything seems to be no overlaps. Everything seems to be okay. So now I close this, and I want to select. This is I do it just for, for ease of um, then exporting. I want to select that section, and I'm going to go into my file, and I'm going to export MIDI project. So what I'm going to do now is export time selection only, select the tracks only. You see that this track is selected. And that's going to create a MIDI file on my desktop called MIDI export. Okay. So I'm going to do OK. Now the next step is to open my MuseScore. And I'm going to basically import that MIDI file. I'm going to try and find it. MIDI export. There you go. So that's my MIDI transcription. Obviously, you can see because guitar is a transposing instrument, is a octave away. This uh, opens it as a piano score. You can see that it's split there with a um, with a different clef. But what I'm going to do now, by clicking I on my keyboard, I'm going to add some um, guitar. So let's uh, let's go on electric guitar. I'm going to add both electric guitar and electric guitar tablature. So I'm going to add that into my uh, my score. I'll just delete this because I don't need them. 
So wasting space. There you go very quickly. And all I'm going to do now is copy this and select it. Control C, Control C. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy this in my guitar. So he's changed. You see, he's changed that uh, the octave, which is correct. And then I'm going to change. I'm going to copy that again in my tablature. And you can see that it has created the tablature. Obviously, now I need to change the order. Again, I can get rid of some stuff. I can get rid of that piano section there, get rid of that. And I want to put the tablature, obviously, at the bottom. So now I've, I've done that. And you can see that now I have created that 251, that it's now a child that I can uh, share as a PDF or whatever. Obviously, this is quite simple as a linear. As I said, this is all work in progress. I have seen with triplets is a bit is not as accurate as it should be. Uh, with other things, I've not quite experimented yet, like with chords. So I would suggest the, the thing to do is to think when you play and record the guitar originally, try to think as the finished product on the chart. So let's say if, if I'm playing jazz instead of swinging that line, I played in even eight and I play it to the metronome. Obviously, I recorded to the metronome. Um, yeah, hope this was of help. Uh, you see, this is relatively quick, but it's still there's still a bit of tweaking to do. But I thought to share it, and hopefully this technology will improve so that in a you know a few months or years time, all we'll have to do is play a tune, import it straight into MuseCore or into any program. Again, these are all free uh, free programs. Uh, the MuseCore is free. Um, that the VST plugin is free, and Reaper can be used for free. But then any any DAWs can be used as well. So hope this was of, of help. Uh, if you felt that it was of help, please share it. Send it to somebody that might, um, might get some value. Check the links in my description, please, my music. And again, there's there's a tip jar, all the usual stuff. Subscribe, like, and all, and all that. Check out all the other videos in my, in my uh, channel as well. All right, take care. Bye-bye.